now it's getting time to where Godfather's going to need a vacation. I put in too much work, but I wanted to follow up on today because we got to get into this discussion about pretty privilege. Pretty privilege and many other things because when I break it down tomorrow, it's going to make much more sense. But I want to talk today about a question I asked. And it kind of and it kind of stems from a conversation I had the other day, when a, when a woman came to my channel and pretty much asked, "Why don't high value men?" And understand, if you're not in this group of men, just listen to the conversation. Like it or not, today women want their top twenty percent of men. They're open about it. All I have to do is go back and look at my channel and see the videos. They want that man for economic reasons, for culture reasons, for social class reasons, blah, blah, blah. That's what it is. And, and it ultimately comes down to, you know, many different questions. But I've said that having pretty privilege is almost like being a high value man, except a man has to make himself high value. A woman is born with pretty privilege. She just has to maintain it. The difference is a high val being high value lasts a hell of a lot longer. But here's the, here's, the, here's the real question. Today, today women, unlike times in the past where a woman used to be pretty, pretty women used to still have to feel like they had to do something. Meaning if you were born and, and you were a natural beauty, your family still made sure you knew how to cook, clean, take care of a man, be a wife. I want to I want to I want you guys to think about the Vanessa Williams character in Soul Food. There was Vanessa, there was Vivica, and there was Nina. All of those women were beautiful, but Vanessa was arguably the finest of them all, and she was the most educated, but she still knew how to cook whether she could and she was married but today the question is are pretty women above having to work hustle and compete to keep a man not to get a man I'm going to assume that women in this category have no problem attracting men but what we're starting to see today is a lot of pretty women who are not wives. Point blank, period, end of sentence. I don't care why you, why it is. I don't care who hurt your feelings. I don't care how many times you've been engaged. I don't care what this is supposed to be or what this is supposed to be. If you make it into your 30s plus and you are a, a pretty woman and not a wife, that's unusual. And you've got to drop a lot of it at the women's feet today. We gotta at least ask the question. Is having, do modern women really think pretty privilege is enough? Or what else do you bring to the table? I'm gonna give you a personal anecdote. I've always dealt with attractive women. It's just my thing. But I was talking to a friend the other day and I was like, it's amazing uh, how how do I want to say this? Uh, women of a certain uh, stature don't feel like they have to do anything except be pretty, for the most part. Cook, clean, do whatever. Now, the expectations, whether overt or whether, uh, whether directly spoken or not, they expect everything. You want filet mignon and steak and crab and and diamonds and Ferraris and this and that, uh, but pretty fades. And the thing is, today's pretty women seem to only think all they have to do is bring pretty to the table. And I got news for you, ladies. It has never been enough. It's never been enough, and it won't be enough because there was a there's an old saying. When they had, used to have the, you know, Sports Illustrated swimsuit models, there was a movie back in the 80s called 10, starring Bo Derrick. She was supposed to be the perfect 10. And there was a caption at the, under that picture of her stepping out of the ocean. It said, somewhere 
It says somewhere somebody is sick of her shit too. Meaning that after the pretty wears off, after the new wears off, you're just a woman, a better looking woman. And if you're a pretty woman and you don't bring anything to the table other than you're pretty and your, I'm a PhD. And your job or your this, your that, then how do you expect to keep a man? Because I want you guys to really think about this. How often do you see women who are six, that's cute, adjustable six, that can go from cute to pretty, eight, pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous, eight to nine and 10, and you think about it. How many times do you see a woman who is a six, adjustable six, eight, nine, or even 10, and you are starting to see the majority of these women unmarried, not even divorced, unmarried. It was such an issue that I went down in Houston talking about pretty professional problems. So ladies, what is it? Because really, I'm going to tell you, when I talk to guys behind the scenes, men behind the scenes of all races, what they tend to say is, today pretty women think that all I have to do is be pretty. Just be pretty. Be pretty and spend my money. Be pretty, spend my money, and then your job description is to look good and then have sex. And when men are being honest, they'll say the sex ain't that great. I mean, it's good but with some of them, but it's not that great. It's not the best you ever had. And even if it's mind-blowing, so what? The older you get, the more stuff you got to go, big deal. I'm going to tell you right now, ladies, if your mother, your, the women in your family did not prep you, teach you how to actually maintain a man's mind and his ego, they just taught you how to maintain his eyes and his penis. Ladies, and here's the funny thing, women who fit into this category, men are wondering, why aren't they married? Women are like, why ain't she married? Everyone would think you should have an easier life, but they don't. Because at the end of the day, far too many of these ladies are worried about themselves. I'm going to say something to you ladies, you're not going to like it. Far too many modern women are worried about themselves. You're worried about yourselves. You're worried about yourselves. And women who worry about themselves end up by themselves. Women who learn how to put their men above themselves keep men. That's why you're seeing so many women today who can get men but can't keep them. Because they're good at attracting. They're good at doing. See, the thing is, pretty privilege has told women that the world, you're beautiful. And because a man wants to have sex with you and because just with the man that you're with and you're spending time to get to know, you can easily replace him. But yes, that's somebody to have sex with. But somebody to deal with you? This is why it is so important for women to understand that if you're a single woman and you want to be married and you're pretty, you have no excuse. Because you've had plenty of, you have, you have ran by plenty of suitable men, unsuitable men, blah, blah, blah. And don't come in here typing in all caps. Come in here typing in all caps, I'm going to block you. Why is this important? Because it is time for the women who want a different outcome to realize. Ladies, especially if you want a man who's productive, competitive, successful, a higher value man, you got to love him more than he loves you. You have to female court him. You have to do more than just sit there and be pretty. That's why there was such an uproar when that woman said, oh, all I got to do is be inspirational. Being inspirational doesn't mean just sit there and be pretty. What's wrong with all caps? I said that's what's wrong with all caps. Anything else? Okay. Bye. Play games. Go bye. The, go back to it. And this is something you should be happy to hear about. You should be happy to hear about this because women who can attract men but can't keep them, you should be happy to say, oh, maybe this is it. But see, 
This means that women are going to have to risk. This means women are going to have to put themselves out there. And I have news for you. If you are a woman born after 1975, you are going to have to put yourself out here in risk. Because the market has changed. Men are not just marrying because they should. Men want to know what they're getting and they want to know what they're getting. And like it or not, ladies, it's not good enough to say, buy me on potential. They'll hook up with you. They'll have sex with you. But the funny thing is you talk to a lot of pretty privileged women and they're getting the same kind of deals as average women, meaning the guys are wanting them to work and this and that. Why? Because... If you don't make a man feel the way he wants to feel, he will go down to the woman who's going to do that. Let's talk about it because I've had this conversation. With so, when I do consults, when I do my one-on-one -on -one consults, I'll, I'll tell a little secret. It, it, I do about three consults a day. And it is, uh, it, it's, it's to see the amount of beautiful women who never were taught that you got to work. But you got to do something. But you got to do more that you can't expect. I mean, and here's the funny thing. I've, I've talked to nice, pretty women who are just like, they take everything. They're nice. They're feminine. It's like, yeah, but have you ever spent any money on a man? Have you ever did this? Have you ever did this? Remember that one broadcast where I talked about? Uh, when's the last time you wrote a love letter to a man? Or you wrote anything? A lot of women are like, what? Yeah. Ladies. You got to do, well, it's a lot of work. Well, here's the thing. Die alone. Die alone. Because like it or not, once your pretty is gone, there are, there are plenty of pretty 45-year-old women who are forever single. Forever single. All right. So what is, turn off request to go, okay. All right, but let's get into it. Uh, all you have to do is be nice to me. I'll be nice to you. Pretty privileged. Everybody gets old. But if, if, if a man can't get nothing from you other than just pretty, pretty privilege goes away. There we go. All right, so you're going to request to be in. You're going to request to be in. All right. Hmm. I'm going to cancel you out. But then don't request to be in here. Um, now, I will tell you this. I'm going to also turn off the commenting for a second. Um, let's talk about why this is so difficult for women who have pretty privilege. Because they're not used to rejection. Pretty women are not used to rejection. Pretty women are not used are used to getting everything they want. And if and if you don't have to work and things come to you, if your life is continuous, you get in a VIP for free, you get callbacks on jobs, you get the, I mean, think about what is as a pretty woman. It's like playing life on easy until it's not. This is what's never talked about. This is what's never talked about until it's not. And then when you're not, then it's like, well, what's wrong? Well, what's wrong with the men? Uh, the men out here ain't this. The men out here ain't that. No, no, it's not a problem with the men. It's where do your skills rank as a, as a woman other than just being pretty? Because I will say this. It's sad to see a woman waste the pretty. It's sad to see that. But that's what's happening more often today because today, at least 50 years ago, pretty women were taught, told, you need to learn how to make some food and bake a pie or something. You need to do something. Today, pretty women, you know, this is where that whole New York Times thing, one, in three, one out of three women expect to... No fear I have, I, I, but I do have feedback. What? No. 
one in three women uh, have admitted to going uh, out on a date just for the meal, having no interest in the man. You have to get on camera. I'm coming. Absolutely. Hold on. Did not expect you to even accept me. Okay. Um, um, what's the, what's the feet? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How old are you? 35. What's the feedback? Do you have some? No, as you said, no fair, but you have feedback. Though. Oh, oh, I do. Yeah. I, I have been married for quite some time. You still married? I am. Okay, go ahead. So I am, I'm, I'm not your average. And in that, I mean, I am not your average. Um, I'm not your average black woman in what you would find. I am, um, I, I, I play in all types of um, arenas. I work in those arenas. I work in all of those. Okay, how about this? Do me a favor. Okay. Uh, Talk to me like I'm four or a cocker spaniel, because you're not really saying anything. Okay. I'm not I, your average black oh, woman. I, oh. I'm not your average black woman. I play in arenas. I work no. in arenas. I work okay. in all those arenas. That's nothing. Fair enough. Uh, let me say this. Whenever most people don't expect to be selected, I was selected. And so I did not expect that at all. So let's go. Ask and I shall answer. Well, I just wonder what your feedback was. You were talking in the comment section. So um, you said you're married. How long have you been married? 20 years. All right. Um, and you said you how old again? I will let you guess. That, I, don't, that I, I, don't, I don't play these games. You either answer my questions or I'll bid you a good night. 43. Okay. One thing I don't do is I don't do these things. No, I don't no. know you, so we you've been know. married. To... We all know this. Keep going. Well, then, well, why do you watch my show? Because I actually agree with certain things that you say. Not mm -hmm. everything. And, and, and a lot of people that that I speak to don't. And I'm like, no. Do you have any I children? I've been preaching some of Do you have any children? Do you have any children? I do. How many? Three. Three. Um, you, you watch my show. You're a married woman with three children because you agree with some of the things I say. What do I say that you agree with? How, how we should carry ourselves, um, how we should treat our men. Mm -hmm. how we have basically lost ourselves. I'm, I'm in for that. I, I agree with that. I've been saying that for years. Well, what don't you agree with? What don't I agree with? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. Mm. I, I can't give you that tonight. Mm -hmm. I can't give you that. No. I will say this, though. You've gone from 35 to 43, just like that. That's amazing. I did, didn't I? Yeah. This crazy. I don't like liars. It's the modern woman, y'all. It's the modern woman. She's married 20 years, but she's 35. Oh, 43. Oh, guess. Uh-uh. Seem too good for you. Uh, whoever your husband is, God bless him. If you're really married, doubtful. Uh, Many women watch my show because they know they've run their lives into a ditch and they're too prideful and too egotistical to actually really seek the help. So they're really trying, a lot of women are trying to do their own work, and, which is, you're going to realize you can't do the work yourself. 
You need somebody to do it. But see, women who truly want a better outcome, check their ego. And see, being pretty is one thing, but having pretty and an ego won't work. Because pretty fades. High value doesn't. Um, I will say this to men and women alike. Anytime you deal with a woman who has ego, leave. It's going to end up badly. Ego will mask itself as masculinity with women, will mask itself as courage with some, but at the end of the day, it's all selfish. If you run into a woman who is pretty and it's all about her, selfish, leave. Whether it's overt or not, leave. Meaning, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Here's what you do. I often talk about this. Everyone, I think, should audit their situations, audit your friendships, audit your interactions. And if you're dealing with anybody outside of a business where you're doing more in a situation to maintain a relationship, pull back and allow the people to catch up. Because one of the, one of the main things with people is we get into a, a pattern and we teach each other how to treat each other. We teach people how to treat us. So at the end of the day, guys, if you talk about dealing with pretty women, make a, make a pretty woman work like she's, just like she's not pretty. Let's just be real. If she's pretty, make her work like she's, like she's ugly. Don't look at her. Look at how she, like she makes you feel. That's what I tell my clients all the time. Don't look at her. Look at how she makes you feel. If she doesn't make you feel like the one, and understand what I'm saying, you're in control of your own feelings. But how a person interacts with you, you can't do anything about that. They don't, they don't know how to interact with you, bounce them. And if they want to do better, they will learn you. See, that's the thing about pretty privilege and honor women today. Pretty women used to learn that they used to learn that they had to work. Destroy the halo effect. Yes. Do I believe, believe what I'm saying? I believe this. Yeah. Let me help. Let me help you out. Hold on. Let me get this person out. Bye bye. See, and the problem is this. Just like if you had to make it become a, make yourself a high value man, understand something. You started somewhere. No one in your life. In, no one in your life should be more important than your purpose and your mission. He said, I, I, da, 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 da. And here's the thing, guys. If you're not willing to lose, you don't need to get her. Men need to do this as well. Well, there's a difference for men. Men, men don't have to do this. With, women have to understand. This is why I say... Pretty privilege is a gift and a curse today. Go ahead and turn off the comments because I'm not answering comments. You got you want to you want a question? Get on here. So at the end of the day, uh, I feel I feel feel kind of bad because what? Think about this. There was a young lady on OnlyFans who who offed herself. You're starting to see more and more attractive women, pretty women, women who thought their life would be one way. And it's not turning, it's not working out. And they're not understanding why. It's the pretty privilege is not a guarantee. It's a ticket. It's a ticket to the dance. But in everybody's life, you, the kind of relationships you have are going to be determined by what work you put in and what work and what work you're willing to put into them. I'm going to say this to the ladies. You ladies are far more interested in your in what you put into your girlfriends and your job than your men. Today, women care more about edifying their, their jobs and their girlfriends than their men. And you wonder why you're alone. Because when, you, when your guys, the guys you're dealing with, see that you'll kill yourself at work or at school, or you're always trying to help this person or that person, but then you're putting in the minimum. And you wonder why, when I talk to women, they've been in a relationship for eight months, a year, less than two years. Why are you in relationships for all these years and can't get a wedding ring? 
because men are not going to wife a woman who is not putting him the most work into him. And this really tends to shock pretty privileged women a lot. Uh, let's see. No, I'm not putting you in. Put, I'm not putting that one in. I'm not putting that one in. So how do you do with this? I will say this. Um, for, for guys, I said it before, destroy the halo effect. Destroy the halo effect. And, and for women, um, ask yourself, if you, were ha if, you, if you were half of what you are today, would the people around you still be the people that are around you? Because when you flip it up, if you actually have your image, your looks together, and you mirror it with the work. See, that's what we always say, talent or hard work. You know, it's like back in the day, Magic Johnson had a natural talent. Larry Bird had hard work. But what about when you take it and mirror, marry, uh, marry both of those together? If you're an attractive woman, if you're willing to just do the work, you'll win. But you got to do the work that the men want. You can't listen to women. You got to listen to the men. The men will tell you what they want. And then you have to do that up front. Don't waste the pretty. Let's see this. Uh, you just requested to be on here again. Why are you requesting to be on here and not going on? Okay. I'm going to put these last two requests up because I did get started a little late. And uh, we're getting to the end of the week, and I got to get ready for tomorrow's show. But I did want to make sure I came on today, because we're going to open this part up for YouTube tomorrow. Hello? Hi. How are you? I'm pretty fine. Good. How old are you? I'm 33. All right. What do you got on the subject of pretty privilege? Are, are pretty women above having to work, hustle, and compete to keep a man? Is being pretty enough? No, it's not because I'm pretty and I'm single because I'm not accepting. Okay, a what, what's is that? Are you in a car or something? Because I hear a phone ringing. Is what? I said I hear a phone ringing. Go ahead. Yeah, my other phone. Okay. It's, I got a hotline. Okay. You said it's not enough because you're single and what? I said being pretty is not enough for a lot of men because. I'm pretty and I'm still single, so. What do you want? Nowadays, I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because these men they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want in women. Mm. And you said you're how old again? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want. I mean, I know what I want, but... What is that? <laughs> Guys, remember the first thing I said about ego? They're not willing to be honest. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I've been screwed and fucked for so long, I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I literally don't. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. She's five. Okay. So start with the basics. Do you want to be married? Of course. Who don't want to be married? Well, I'm talking yes, to I you. and I'm a Okay, I've asked you, what do you I want? I want to be married before I turn 40. Okay. Why? Okay. No disrespect, but why is that? Was that so hard for you just to say? Because I've asked you, and you're like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Then I ask you if you want to be married. You say, of course. I mean, I, have, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have trust. You, I need you to hold the phone steady. You can't keep moving it all over the place or set it down somewhere. Were your mother and father married? Yes. What, Are they okay. still? My mom and father was married, but they separated when I was like a baby mm -hmm. and got with my stepdad. So that's who I know okay. as a father, my stepdad. Okay. And they, are their mother and your stepfather still married? Them two ain't never get married. They just was together for over, I'm 33, for like 20-something years. 
You just said your mother and your step. Okay. All right. You just said that your mother and father were not married. Were married for when you were a baby. Then they got divorced. No, they then didn't. Get, got separated. My mama just recently divorced my dad, like five years ago. But still, I don't know. That's that's uh, that situation was crazy. I don't know. But her and my stepdad, they've been together for over 20 something years. I see your stepfather that they weren't married. I don't know why they wasn't married. He still was married to okay. my dad. Did they live in the house together? Yes. All right. You have any siblings? Yes. I have two, but my brother passed away last year. Sorry to hear that. They're, your mother has three children? Mm hmm. All right. So, young lady, um, just in this little bit of time of talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the way you told the story is, yeah, this, you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. Gentlemen, this is what I mean. The problem today is not with men. The problem in relationships today, I take it back, it doesn't start with men. The problem today in long-term, committed, emotionally profound and significant relationships and or marriage starts firmly with women. That woman came on here talking about I don't know what I want because the men don't know what they want. Now, understand, that was a mother. After several times, what do you want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, who knows? Whatever. Do you want to be married? Of course, who don't want to be married? Were your mother and father married? No, they weren't married. Well, yeah, they were married when I was a baby. Then she got divorced and she got my stepdad and they've been together forever. So how long have they been married? Oh, they've been married. I need you ladies who think I may be harsh or think I may be out of pocket or whatever. I want you guys, I want you ladies to understand if your son were to bring, to say, this is the woman I'm bringing home. Would you say, all right, son, the son you raised, the son you protected and kept safe. Would you be happy or ecstatic that that was the woman that was going to be out there next to your son trying to fight this life? 33, not 23, 33. And now a mother. Why am I saying this? Because what do you want? And that, that woman is running around with this lion. And see, that's why I'm a, a big, that's why when we talk about looks, and I'm a segue into something that's going to be a little bit of a sensitive area. Ladies, so much, so much, of, so much, so much of modern women today is fake. You're wearing someone else's hair fake nails, fake eyelashes, makeup. Women are walking around in disguise. Literal disguise. Part of that is to keep them, it's armor to protect them from the world. So they're walking around with someone else's hair, these, someone else's nails, long nails, eyelashes, all this makeup. And there's a psychological issue that goes into that. So understand, gentlemen, when you see that, understand you're not getting who that person is. Wow. Wow, just, and the sad part is, up until, you know, many people don't like my show. You hate women, you this, you that, you da 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 da. But, up until we had a chance to really start having conversations one-on-one, -on -one, women like her would get with other women and they would blame men. And that's the popular term. The reason that I'm this way is because of these men. You know that dude that be talking shit? We don't do that be talking shit. No, I don't think so. Um, I'll say so also, some of, the, some of you young ladies, um, I don't care how pretty you think you are. 
if, if you cuss, if you curse as a woman, that's real ugly. I mean, you're good for, you're good for sex. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll be good to hook up with. And guys won't say nothing. But I'm going to ask the question. What is your life going to be like at 40 years old plus? Because at 40, the happiness for women starts to go this way and happiness for men starts to go that way. And a lot of women that frequent these pages are under 40 years old. You think you got a long time and you really don't. Women, you need to get the bigger parts of your life together to get now. And like it or not, your mother's generation and women uh, who should have been teaching you, they're not teaching you because you're their competition. Your only hope is through the men. This is why tomorrow when I break down the pretty privilege video and show you why so many women actually hang out with their alternative lifestyle uh, friends, guy friends, because women need men's validation. Women need men's attention. Break it down tomorrow. We're going to get into it. And I promise you, it's going to be a hot topic because the way they talk, if we don't, I don't need no man, such and so forth. Yeah, you need men. You need men like, like a fish needs water. A man's, a man's attention is your oxygen. And so many women cannot get a man and keep a man. They're starting to accept attention from men who don't even like women that way. That's just a placebo. And ladies like it or not, if you guys don't, if you, if you end up, I'm talking to you, not everybody but you. If you don't get your mind together and get yourself together, you have between now and 85 is going to be a long life. It seems like a game now. It's funny now. It's not going to be funny when you're 45 or 50. Trust me. It's not going to be funny when you are like your aunt and you're going to be like, I remember when I used to look good and I used to have something and so forth. So here we go. One more time. I'll do one more and I'm going to bounce. So Shout out to, uh, and, and one of the things is I will say when I run into when I run into men out in the world. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. Uh, how old I are, did not know how think you were going to accept me. Oh, well, I'm 26. How old are you? Hold on, let me take okay. my retainer out. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, hmm. natural. I just heard you talk Please. about. Yeah, can you hear me? So we're I talking just... about pretty privilege. But yeah. Are, do you have me on TV or Bluetooth or speaker? Because there seems to be a slight delay. No. Is this better? Yeah, uh, let's try it. Okay. All right. So you're 26. What are we going? What are we talking about today? I'm pretty talking about pretty. Yeah. yeah. What do you got on that? Do you think it exists? Um, to some extent, I do think it exists. But I think the more modern boss, pretty women today like to have their own money. And I think they just, I don't know, like for me, I like to work. And I've been working since I was like 16. But I also do have a man that supports me. But we also support each other. So I think like it goes both ways. Like you can be pretty, but I don't ex I don't think you should expect a man to take care of you because you're pretty or you think you're pretty. You said the modern boss. What? Yeah, like a it? modern day pretty woman today. Mm -hmm. They work. Mm -hmm. Pretty women work. Where? No, you don't think so? Anywhere. <laughs> If you take they out the OnlyFans and Instagram, where are you working? No, they start they start businesses. They do real estate. Man, uh, hold on. Now, I don't know how how long you watch my show. Probably like a month, not okay. that long. All right. Well, when I speak, I I speak heavily in data, statistics, and facts. So, less than nine percent of Black women earn seventy five thousand dollars or more. Less than 4% of the women in this country earn six figures. Women are not bosses like that. That's the marketing. The numbers stay vastly different. So you. When, you say, when you say pretty women are working, I'm saying where? 
because well, I know what's for myself. I'm working. Okay. My sisters work. Okay. But does that make you, when I hear the word boss, that's right up there with queen, diva, and such and so forth. And boss means you're over somebody. No, I'm just saying like, not depending on anybody. Okay. Who do you work for? I work for Compass. I'm a realtor. Okay. Well, then you work for somebody. But like I'm saying, I'm saying I'm not depending on a man. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, you're 26. Do you want to get married one day? Of course. What's so wrong with depending on a man? No, you can. No, I'm asking. But, but you, you said it many times, like not depending on a man is like a badge of honor. And I'm asking what's wrong with depending on a man? There's absolutely nothing wrong with depending on a man, but you should also have your own. Okay. So do you want to be married one day? Yep. Do you want children? I don't know yet. Why get married if no children? I know that's the same thing my boyfriend says. Were your mother and father married? They were married for 17 years. Okay, I need you to hold the phone steady. You're doing all this. and Almost 16,000 people watching. So. Yeah, okay. they were married for 17 years. Do you have any siblings? I'm one of six. Okay. Um, uh, how old is the oldest? She's 33. The youngest? 14. No, 13, so, sorry. So 20 years span, so six kids. So when you go home for the holidays, it's a big deal. I got six nieces and nephews. Right, and you don't know if you want children. So at 40 years old, 45 years old, what, li what is life going to be like for you without children? I haven't thought that far. Bosses think in the future. 20 that's, what makes him that's what makes a boss a boss. Oh. I mean, if it happens, it happens. But... No, it's not. No, no, no. See, if you really study bosses and successful people, they have goals structure what's the fear of having children i just haven't thought to okay well at 26 um you're in the height of your prime um so if no one's told you i'm going to tell you next year you'll enter what i call the danger zone i know danger zone 27 to 35 to where if you don't figure out what it is you want pretty soon, life is going to start making choices for you. Women have to get the bigger parts of their life together uh, sooner because the biological clock and, and, and it's not easy to make children after a certain age. But bottom line, if you don't want to have children, fine. But what is life going to be at 40 plus years old? Because life is about relationships for women. And if you don't have family and kids... What is it going to be? Is it just going to be you and your husband and pets or what? I don't even have a dog. Okay. <laughs> so most women don't want to have kids, just don't want to. They're kind of selfish. Are you a selfish person? Right now, yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. And how long have you been with your boyfriend? Going on two years. Does he want to be married? Yeah, he does. Does he want children? He already has. Okay. So why aren't you guys married? I don't know. Not probably not ready yet. Well, what what do you need to be to be ready to be married? You tell me. I don't know. Have There's you been married? What is, no, we're not doing. We don't do that. <laughs> You're about to go down the wrong path. I'm trying to help you. You don't want to go down that path with me. Don't play with me. I'm not your friend. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm just, just trying to be, I'm just telling you, you don't want to play that role with me. You'll lose that one. Because I'm just having a respectful conversation. with You You said you have six, you have six siblings, your mother and father are married. And they were, yeah. They were married for 17 years. Okay. And they have six children and at least 17 years to show. 
And then a 26 year old daughter in a two year relationship, you don't know what you want. Have you talked to them about marriage or a relationship? Yeah. What are, what's their advice? I'm young. That your mother's advice? Mm -hmm. What's your father's advice? Same thing. You're young. So just stay out here and just have unprotected, stay out here and just have uncommitted sex. I guess. Well, everybody gets to make choices. Um, as far as being too young to be married, I actually, uh, by the time you hit 27, you're actually kind of too old for marriage at that point. And in our community, we've told this lie to black women that you're too young for marriage. And it's the wrong thing. That's why one in four black women will look to marry right now. So 80% of our children are born outside of wedlock because, unfortunately, did you go to college? I, uh, two years I went, but then I studied real estate. So, Unfortunately, so many of our women uh, got this whole boss diva working narrative. It's a very masculine thing. And then when they really understand what life is about, it's generally too late. That's why mm -hmm. happiness in our community is through the, through the ground. Um, yeah. my suggestion would be, um, you don't know, you say you want to be married, but you don't know if you want kids. Cool. Whatever it is you want, you better start thinking about it. Cause life uh, is not playing with you it's, and you're not too young. You're too, you're too, not too young at all. And if you're not going to marry your, your boyfriend, um, I'll ask you this question. 91% um, of black women make under $75,000. Are you in the 91% or in the top 9%? Mm, right now, probably in the 91%. Okay. Um, if you don't marry, um, since you're in real estate, I'll give you a problem. A, a male or a female from age 25 to 65 makes $50,000 a year for 40 years, and they get a cost of living raise every year, 3%. And every month they put aside $200. By the time they reach 65 and retire from a life of 65 to 85, that person will need $2.9 million to retire on to last that next 20 years. At $50,000 for 40 years, that they're going to have almost a three quarter of a million dollar shortfall. Yeah. If you don't get married and you're not making twice, making what a man and a, you, you and the husband are going to make, how are you going to live after retirement? Because the government can't do it. Social Security won't be there. Yeah. See, marriage yeah. is not an option for you. Well, I hope I you, get married. No, no, it's not a hope. See, that's the thing. That I'm talking to you and women in your generation. Marriage has been marketed to you as an option. Unless you're going to make what two people make and you're going to stack it, it's not an option. You're going to need two incomes. Right. That's why the next lowest group of married people are white women at a rate of 54%. And it troubles me to see so many black women who may be nice people, but so lackadaisical and so structureless at your yeah. age, just floating around out here, just doing shit not living life on any plan or anything. And then you, you reach your mid thirties and you're looking around and asking where all the good men went. It's time to start putting structure. in. Well, I don't think I'm living out here like unstructured. Okay. Just cause I'm not married. And then say you were living out for structure because you weren't married. I ask you what you wanted. You don't know. Do you want to be married? That was the last yeah, I want to be married. I said, yes. Do you want children? I don't yeah, know. I don't. Okay. Um, at 26 years old, man, geriatric pregnancy starts at 35. See, we, we, we have told women, especially in our culture, that your 20s are for you and mm -hmm. to do yourself. And it's bullshit. It's not. The women who tell you guys this stuff are over 40, single, and unhappy. True. So I'm saying to you that 
Stop any decision you're going to make in fear, scarcity, or lack is a wrong-headed decision. And regardless as to whatever you decide to do, marriage for men generally is about family and legacy. Without children, there really is no business reason for a man to marry you because the downsides are too high for us. If you don't right. want children, fine. But the net net of it still is the same. You're going to need enough money to retire on. And that's, and that's, that's a game no one can afford to play. Right. So whatever you decide, I've seen far too many women who don't know the numbers, don't know the math, and they're just living life paycheck to paycheck mentality, not thinking about the future. And then they look up in their, in their mid thirties or forties and upset. You are at a point in time where you can actually make some choices. It's time to get serious is what I'm basically telling you. And I'm going to go back to what was first said. You came in and got the reason we went down this path was because you came in to talk about bosses. I'm not hearing boss. Bosses take life seriously. So uh, congratulations on being real estate. Thank you for not having any kids out of red light. But you need to start taking life seriously because outside of this country, 20, in China, women your age are called leftover women. Yeah. I know. They're called cr Christmas cake is what it's called in Japan. And, uh, and you don't want to be one of those if you don't have to be. Have a good night. Good conversation. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, see... What I think tends to happen a lot is we make it too easy. We just joke around and act like it's no big deal. And a lot of women will tell young women like that, yeah, girl, you're too young, you're too young, you're too young. That's bullshit. A lot of young women are terrified of relationships and marriage, and they're terrified because of what women have told them. Women have told these young women, beware, beware. Remember, man, what I said, we're either the enemy or utility. Men are either the enemy or utility, something to be used or something to be feared, avoided. And not realizing the very men, the, oh, the very other part is the part you're going to need to get through the end of life. So I got to get up out of here. This has been good. This has been great. So next time, peace. We're gone. It's not